Cheating boyfriend comes out as gay and then tries to steal my baby. I, 27F, have been with my boyfriend Mike, 27, since our junior year in HS. We were supposed to celebrate our 10-year anniversary six months ago, but since then my entire life has fallen apart. The night of our anniversary we were supposed to meet at the restaurant where we had our first real date forever ago. This was hard to plan as we now live two hours away from the town we grew up in, and we both have crazy work schedules. The day of he tells me he has a special surprise for me and to go out there on my own and visit my family and he'll meet me at the restaurant at our set time. I want to say we both agreed to never get married so I knew a proposal wasn't on the table as my family and I'm sure most of you are thinking. Anyways, I was excited about this as I had my own exciting news at the time, I had just found out I was pregnant, and planned to tell my boyfriend that night. I visited with my family and told my mother and brother I was expecting but not to tell Mike because I was going to tell him that evening. We were all so excited. I get to the restaurant on time and I'm wearing a dress I bought just for the occasion. I sit there for an hour before leaving. At first I thought he was running late with a surprise, and then I started to become worried and he wasn't answering his texts so I decided to head home and see if everything was okay. When I returned home everything of his was gone, his clothes, his posters, his portions of everything, except the furniture and his car, my name is on the title because he has bad credit, on our bed is pages and pages handwritten by him. I'll spare you the details, but apparently, his childhood best friend who I'll call Carl started renting our furnished basement a few months prior, and it was all right Carl was never a burden, always helpful with chores and cooking and I never had a reason to not want him in my home as far as I was concerned he was family and he said the feeling was mutual. The letter read that Mike and Carl were in love and running away together to escape their bigoted families and because Mike couldn't live this lie anymore, as much as I hated I respected, I have many gay friends and know how hard it is for many. I mean, watch why women kill and pay close attention to the 1980s couple. Naturally I was devastated, but knew there wasn't much I could do other than allow myself to mourn my partner's and I's relationship, because for me I was in love. Knowing that it wasn't my fault it was just something I couldn't control helped a little. My family called many times that night to see how the dinner went because they wanted to know how he reacted to the news of me being pregnant, and they don't understand our no marriage deal and were always hoping he'd buck up but I ignored all calls. The next morning I was woke up by pounding on the door, and to my shock it was Mike and Carl. I allowed them inside asked if they'd forgotten any of their things and asked if there was anything we split they'd like to talk about taking as there were a few things around I figured should go to them such as of the furniture sets from the living room or the basement where Carl was previously staying, as I imagined they were in a new apartment and needed these things. What happened next shocked me. Mike cut me off with a hand up and asked how far along I was. I asked who told him and he said it doesn't matter how he knows just that he knows and that he wants to be a part of the child's life. I said of course I planned on involving him as it was his child too after all. He then stated that he and Carl wanted to stay in the basement apartment until I gave birth, and at which point he and Carl would be moving upstairs and I could have the basement until I found a better place. I asked why in his right mind I should give them my home and they said so that they could raise their baby together without his past there to ruin it. I laughed out loud which really pissed him off. He said I know they can't have kids together and that the least I could do for stealing the last 10 years of his life was to give him his baby since I could always just go have another one. I was appalled by this and said I sympathize that they can't have their own children together but that gives him no right to take mine from me. And that I could say he stole the last 10 years of my life too but I actually loved and planned a future with him meanwhile all he did was lie when he could have left amicably sooner and saved us both the trouble. I didn't force him to do anything and he's out of his mind for thinking I owe him my child. Carl hadn't said anything until the end where he told Mike I was right and dragged him out. Carl sent me an apology later that night. Radio silence for a week and I thought it was over until my first of June appointment where I was told that I had had a chemical pregnancy and then the egg never fully attached so I was no longer pregnant. This hurt but was honestly a relief because now I wouldn't have to do custody with my ex who I never wanted to see again. I told only my mother and brother. Mike showed up same day screaming and pounding on the door, insisting I aborted the child just so he couldn't have it. At one point he tried kicking down the door so I called Carl to come get him. Surprisingly Carl showed up with the police and had Mike arrested. Carl stayed until after they all left to which point we spoke through the door, he said he's sorry for everything he's done to me and he's sorry I lost my baby, 
we ended up talking for a while before he said that Mike isn't the same man anymore and he's very verbally and physically abusive lately and uses the excuse that he can finally take his anger up properly since Carl is a man and can take it. He told me he got a restraining order pending and I should get one too. That's the last time I heard from either of them.